installed this DIY solar mini split a couple of weeks ago and it was incredibly easy, but there's a couple of things that you may wanna know. So I went ahead and I filmed the entire process and I think by the end of this, you're gonna feel so confident that tackling a project like this is gonna be no problem. So I decided to mount my outdoor unit on the wall as opposed to a ground mount. And you know, there's pros and cons to both, but with the future expansion of our deck, I figured this was gonna be the best thing to do. I'm not a huge fan of this particular bracket and I wish I'd gone for one that had the cross support that the two sides hung on. The next thing is getting the unit up onto the wall. I wanted to mount it high next to this other air conditioner. And you see, I've got that hole from an existing vent that I'm no longer using. And here I am installing the brackets. It worked great here. I found a stud and it was super secure. This thing's supposed to be able to hold up like 200 pounds or something. Unfortunately, the right side did not hit a stud, so I couldn't get it to hold tight. So I decided to put up some one by fours. I painted them and they gave me a nice solid base to hang the brackets on. And as a bonus, they covered the hole that I needed to patch anyway. So you see here, I'm struggling to get this really heavy unit onto the brackets. Definitely a two person job, but once I got them up there, it was super secure and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Aside from being able to hook this thing up to solar panels and run heat or cool directly from the sun, I think the biggest selling point is the fact that it requires no special tools, no vacuum pumps, you're not dealing with refrigeration, you simply screw it all together and you're done. Since I'm replacing this large window unit style AC, I didn't really wanna to have to deal with patching the hole and matching the drywall and trying to get the texture and the paint color just right. So we decided to go ahead and shiplap this wall. After finding and marking the studs, we went ahead and cut the pieces and they went up really quick. Next, it was time to remove the old air conditioner and boy, that thing was a lot harder to get out than I expected. It was really in there. I grabbed an old piece of plywood, cut it to size, and finished up the shiplap. Man, this thing looks so much better, and I'm ready to drill the hole. The back of the unit has a mounting plate pre-attached. You're just gonna take off one screw, it comes loose, and then you're gonna use that and the template to go ahead and figure out exactly where you want to place it. I put a couple of nails in place just so I could hang the bracket on and know exactly where it was gonna go. The next thing you have to do is bend to the tubes 90 degrees, and it's a bit scary, but it works. Just go slow and don't kink it. And then I don't know why the water drain pipe is always on the wrong side, so you have to unhook it, and it just slides with that little hook right there. And then you pull the plug on the opposite side, slide the tube back onto it, and then don't forget to replace the plug on the side that the tube came off of. You have to go through this process so that your drain and your copper tubes come out on the same side. Now, like a dummy, I completely forgot to connect the wires to the head unit so I could push them through the wall with the drain and the copper, but I went back and fixed it later and it wasn't that big of a deal. I just wish I had done it in the first place. But as you can see, have someone's help, guide it in, and it's real lightweight and it snaps right into the bracket. Next, we're gonna connect the tubing. Now they've got protective covers to make sure no debris gets in there, and this is super important to keep it clean. Connect the largest copper tube first, followed by the second one, and you're gonna to wanna to tighten them down to 25 to 30 Newton meters. Next, connect the tubing to the outdoor unit and make sure that the thicker one goes on the top, which is M2. Remove the protective cap and insert your Allen wrench or hex key, and then you're gonna turn counterclockwise until it seats up against the ring. Reinstall the protective cap and tighten to 30 to 40 Newton meters. Make sure you don't over tighten it. Apply soapy water to make sure everything is tight and there are no leaks. Then insert the pins so that nothing backs out. To keep things looking nice on the outside, I decided to put everything inside a line cover and I'm glad I did because it really polishes things up.
After realizing my wiring mistake, I went ahead and wrapped some blue tape around the wire and then used a flashlight to get back behind the unit. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but eventually I got the wire connected to the head unit, I ran it through the PVC, and all the way to the outside unit. Wiring is really simple, in fact it couldn't be any easier. On the inside unit, you're going to make sure that the cable clamp is holding down the wires and then you're going to connect one, connect two, and connect three, and then of course you're going to connect ground, and then you're going to put the wire cover back over. On the outdoor unit, you're going to do the exact same thing, ground, one, two, and three, and that's it connecting the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. If you're going to run AC power to this unit, which you don't have to because it can run off of solar, you simply run your ground, your L1, and your L2, both are hots, to the unit. So we've got all the connections made. I do still need to wrap up a couple of things here, but everything is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this switch and we should have power to the unit. Oh, there's power. Let's go, cool. Oh, there we go, cool. It's opening. Oh, there it is. As you can see, this project was incredibly simple. These things install super easy. It's way simpler than it used to be. It is easier than installing a window unit through a wall like this, like I'd previously had. If you're still trying to determine whether the mini splits are for you, and particularly this unit, I wanna say check out this video right here. It's gonna talk about why I think this is the best unit on the market because of some of the features that it has to offer. Also I wanna thank Signature Solar for sending this one out for me to do some reviews on, and I will see you on the next video.